When adversaries plan air and missile strikes against U.S. forces or allies, one name reliably complicates their math. Patriot. The U.S. Army's MIM-104 Patriot Air and Missile Defense System has evolved from a Cold War surface-to-air missile into a networked, combat-proven shield that can swat down aircraft, cruise missiles, and critically tactical ballistic missiles. Its deterrent effect rests on three pillars – a hard combat record, conditionally modernized interceptors and sensors, and growing integration with wider air defense networks. Together, those factors make Patriot a system enemies must fear and plan around. Combat Credibility That Alters Enemy Calculus Patriot's fear factor begins with evidence. The system has seen decades of combat across multiple theaters and operators. Most recently, Ukraine employed newly delivered Patriot batteries to defend Kyiv reporting the first shootdown of Russia's KH-47 Kinzhal aeroballistic missile in May 2023. U.S. officials confirmed a Kinzhal was downed, even as questions remained about its speed at the moment of intercept. Days later, Ukraine said it intercepted a volley of Kinzhals, underscoring Patriot's relevance against advanced threats. This is a sobering data point for any planner counting on ballistic or quasi-ballistic missiles to coerce or punish. Beyond Ukraine, Patriot has been used by allies in the Middle East against drones, aircraft, and ballistic missiles, creating a track record that adversaries must respect, even if success rates vary with threat types and circumstances. Notably, early controversies from the 1991 Gulf War spurred major upgrades. Subsequent operations, including Iraq in 2003, showed far more effective performance. That iterative learning, warts and all, has made Patriot harder to defeat with each conflict. Modern Interceptors – From Proximity Blast to Hit to Kill Patriot inspires caution because of the evolution from the Pack 2 blast fragmentation family to the Pack 3 line of hit to kill missiles. Pack 2 Gem T remains in service for some missions, but Pack 3 interceptors are designed to collide with incoming threats physically, maximizing lethality against maneuvering warheads and reducing risk from unexploded debris. The latest Pack 3 MSE, or Missile Segment Enhancement, adds a larger dual-pulse motor and other improvements to extend the defended battle space in range and altitude, directly widening the no-go envelope for enemy missiles. A radar and sensor suite that enemies can't ignore. Patriot's radars are another source of pain for adversaries. Unlike many systems that separate search, tracking, and fire control, Patriot's phased array radar does all three, compressing the footprint and speeding the engagement chain. The upgrade from the ANMPQ-65 to the digitally enhanced ANMPQ-65A brought roughly a 30% range increase and improved processing while maintaining resilience against jamming. For an attacker trying to blind or saturate defenses, that combination range, agility, and electronic robustness raises the bar. Networked Air Defense – Patriot as a Node, Not a Silo The single biggest change shaping enemy fear today is integration. The Army's Integrated Battle Command System, or IBCS, now at initial operational capability and approved for full-rate production, links disparate sensors and shooters on one network. In practice, that means a Patriot launcher can fire on a target it never sees with its own radar, using track data from another radar, including future LTAMDS and other Army joint sensors. For attackers, this collapses traditional tactics that relied on flying around individual radar sectors, 
or exploiting seams between standalone systems. Even before IBCS, Patriot expanded its geometry with remote launchers up to about 10 kilometers from the radar, dramatically increasing the defended area and allowing more flexible site layouts. Those extra kilometers and perspectives complicate an adversary's saturation plans in an era of complex raid tactics. Mobility, manning, and survivability in the real world. Patriot batteries are mobile and designed to shoot, move, and reload with the engagement control station, the only manned component directing largely automated engagements. A battery is roughly 90 soldiers on the books, but three operators are required in the control station during combat. That lean fighting footprint helps units stay dispersed and survivable under missile attack, another reason it's tough to knock Patriots out early in a campaign. Proliferation among allies raises the stakes for adversaries. 16 U.S. partner nations, from NATO allies like Germany, the Netherlands, Spain, Poland, and Sweden, to Indo-Pacific and Middle Eastern operators such as Japan, South Korea, Kuwait, Qatar, Saudi Arabia, the UAE, Taiwan, and Bahrain field Patriot systems. For aggressors, Patriot isn't just a U.S. problem, it's a widespread allied baseline that creates overlapping defense bubbles across key theaters. Any strike plan against these states, or U.S. forces stationed with them, must contend with Patriot-class defenses. Cost imposition runs both ways and still favors the defender. Air and missile defense is never cheap, and Patriot is no exception. The Congressional Research Service notes a rough battery price of around $1.1 billion, with interceptors comprising most of that bill. An individual interceptor costs on the order of millions, but those expenses buy an asymmetry. Even one successful intercept can prevent strategic or political effects that an attacker hopes to achieve with a high-value missile. Moreover, adversaries are forced to design larger, more complex raids, mixing ballistic, crews, and drones with decoys to saturate Patriot and its partners, which drives up their costs and risk. U.S. doctrine explicitly builds layered, integrated defenses for this reason. Fundamental Limitations and Why They Don't Erase the Fear no defense is perfect. Patriots mixed performance against Iraqi Scuds in 1991 and rare friendly fire incidents in 2003 are reminders that software, identification, and human-machine teaming matter. Yet, those hard lessons catalyzed the upgrades, hit-to-kill interceptors, radar improvement, and now IBCS networking that make Patriot far more capable today. Enemies know Patriot batteries will continue to modernize, for example with LTAMDS and broader IAMD integration, moving the goalposts as they try to adapt. The bottom line, Patriot reshapes risk for would-be attackers. Patriot is feared not because it guarantees a leak-proof shield, but because it reliably degrades and deters the kinds of strikes U.S. adversaries count on to coerce, terrorize, or paralyze. Its combat record, including Ukrainian intercepts against premier Russian threats, its modern hit-to-kill missiles and upgraded radars, and its growing role as a network node of integrated air defense, combine to raise the cost and complexity of any attack. For America's enemies, there are fewer easy shots, less confidence in strategic effects, and more uncertainty about whether a carefully planned salvo will achieve its aims or die in Patriot's defended airspace.